a very good afternoon uh, to one and all present here. Uh, today our uh, speaker here is um, Dr. Shubhadeep Mukherjee sir. Okay, uh, so he is presently working as an assistant professor in the Department of Management Studies. Hello, am I audible, sir? Yes, you are audible, Dr. Sumit, you are audible. Okay. Yeah, uh, so uh, our guest for today is uh, Dr. Sh uh, Shubhadeep Mukherjee, sir. He is working as an assistant professor in the Department of Management Studies, uh, Sikkim Manipal uh, Institute of Technology, SMIT Sikkim. Uh, sir, uh, the idea of expertise for the, um, our expert is in the field of organizational behavior, human resource, Indian ethics, ethos, and fellow base management. Uh, Sun has published many papers in Scopus, uh, ABCD, Web of Science, and UGC text and electrical journals, and also presented many papers in international and national conferences. He is presently performing the responsibility as co-editor in chief of Adhyan a journal of management, spirituality, and human values, and also as the reviewer of many international and national scopus index journals. He is also associated as life member. Uh, with many esteemed organizations like Indian Commerce Association, India Economic Association, CEGR, uh, New Delhi, Social Science and Humanities uh, Research Association, um, then Asia Society of Research, and Council Member of Saida Institute for Steel and International Development. He also acts as an invited resource person from many training and workshop events nationally and also received the best educational award in the year 2020 uh, awarded by ICANN Foundation. So I would uh, now request uh, Dr. Shubhati Mukati sir to please carry on with his presentation. Thank you, Dr. Sumit, for introducing me. And I am obliged to, uh, you have invited me with your team to uh, share my knowledge uh, in the concept to the esteemed future engineers virtually. And I also thankful to the uh, team of Parul University Gujarat for uh, associating me as a key speaker to virtually in this webinar. So I think I'm clearly audible. I think I'm clearly yes, sir. You are clearly audible. Yes. Sir. Okay. So today's topic, what we are going to discuss about, is a total quality management, a basic concept that must uh, engineers knows. I will be actually my background already has told I am uh, uh, totally from the business management background, so I am not going into the technical terms of mechanical engineering or other engineering branches, but how this quality management because end of the day when you will be passing. Uh, the engineers, uh, as an engineering, when you'll be passing as an engineer, you'll be working in an industry. It might be a manufacturing industry or a service industry. So the main important thing is that the quality is very essential, whether it's a good or essential, as well as the delivery of the services. So these are the sequences of the presentation that we are going to cover up with this today's lecture. So let us talk about the introduction of total quality management. Okay. When we talk about total quality management, it's a functional process. When the organization talks about a continuous improvement of the quality and the goods and services. Because when I am uh, delivering some goods or services, it might be an IT industry, it might be a manufacturing industry, end of the day, you need to focus on the customer satisfaction. When, as if you think as an individual customer, when I will be satisfied if the goods and the services have its own esteemed expected quality, and the continuous improvement that is uh, expected delivery in the market. Okay. So I'll be talking the major three gurus of quality management. Okay. First in 1950s, the Demings has talks about the earlier pioneer of the credit potentiality of popularizing the quality control in Japan. Okay. 
So he is now, he became a father. You can say the father of the uh, quality control uh, aspects in the global, uh, global quality market. Okay. And he has its own price, which is known as Deming price in the, for the quality in the Japan. And he has introduced various concepts in 1950s through their, his research and understanding of the quality management. Okay. If you see, after that, in 1954, the Juran, uh, likely the Deming has also invented, uh, invited with the 1954 by the Japanese scientists and the engineers. Why? Because he has introduced various understanding, okay, with the design, with the safety assurance and the field uses of the top to down management. Because when we talk about the quality, it's not only talk about the product that the organization is producing. It is also talking about the overall performance of the organization and this quality assurance, what Juran is saying that it need to be taken care of from the top to down management all over the uh, organization with their technical methods. Then if we see in the third phase, the feel the philosophy of the quality is uh, very, uh, very free books are available online of the Philip Cosbites and the author of the quality management. He is talking about the quality may be defined of a conference of the requirement or not, not the goodness. Okay. That means agar mujhe, if I'm doing any kind of a uh, manufacturing kind of a product, okay, we have to go as per the requirement of, of the market. We have to understand the demand. We have to understand the need. Okay. Because you know better how, how better than me that technically how to improve the quality. I'm talking about in the aspects of the industry and the market. Okay. Agar koi mobile manufacturer ho raha hai, that need to be delivered in the market and that need to be as expectation of the current requirement of the customers. Okay. The quality need to improve. Next, the system for achieving the quality of the prevention, not the appraisal. Okay. Hum log us, how we are going to prevent the quality aspects? I'll take a small example. Okay. Why uh, there is a car in the ancient times. Okay. Uh, which is even in uh, Kolkata, you will find the ambassador. Okay. Why the sales of ambassador has declined and now it is null in void because he's not uh, redeveloped, remodified the quality of the product. Okay. <clears throat> even if you see the performance standard, okay, that the things are developing should be a zero defect. Even uh, you know the process of Six Sigma process, okay, the minor error process that talks about the quality in the close enough to stand, maintain the standardization of the thing. Why people have in a passion towards the, like Apple, if, you, if they have a passion towards the watch like Rolex, they have a passion towards the car like BMW, Audi, uh, Limousine, because they have maintained their standards and as well as the quality in their manufacturing as per as the delivery of the services, okay? This author has also talks about the measurement of quality. Okay. Is the price non-conference in a non-index? Okay. There are a lot of parameters that it can be taken, has been developed by various scientists of Japan. Okay. How we are going to do the quality assurance. I think it's uh, clearly audible to the, to the audience. Uh, sir, it is actually um, live, so you can just continue. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So the commonality of the theme of these three gurus, okay, the commonality of the three gurus are talking about the inspection, which never be answered of the quality improvement, but it talks about the policies because there should be certain kind of a policies that are measured with the quality improvement of the inspection. Okay. Even it is talking about the leadership because if a top management of an organization, our leaders are very much conscious about the quality commitment, cultural commitment, then it will not reflect in the development of the quality that is product as a product or the services that they are producing. Second, third, the program of the quality requires the organization worldwide effort. Okay. First, you need to be very committed commitment. Okay. Towards the long term that I'm going to deliver this level of quality in the market and that going to be accomplished the necessary investment towards the training of the employees 
okay because if my uh, employees are not skilled enough not aware enough about the quality that i am delivering to the uh, uh, company as well as the market or the product that is delivery in the market okay next we are going to the part of the definition of the quality when we talk about the concept and the vocabulary of the quality is exclusive with the different people and the interpretation of the quality okay when we talk about the banker healthcare hotel employees manufacturers etc because when we talk about the hotel employees okay for for example if you go to a five star hotel okay it is very much important about the quality okay the same food might you get a th third star category of the restaurant as well why people prefer to go to a five star restaurant or a seven star restaurant because they are very much focused about the quality hygiene purpose delivery products and the expectation that the customers coming to a five star hotel they are delivering to that say are very much checked enough before delivering the product they check the quality of the product as per the delivery standards of the hotel management okay so if you see the five major approach okay that defining the quality by given by the harvard professor that is david govin in his book of the quality managing quality has summarized in the five major categories okay first is transcendent another is product based another is user based another is manufacturing based and the value based first we talk about the transcendental views okay when we talk about the transcendental views it can't be defined with some so called philosophical understanding okay i know it's when i see okay they talks about the physical appearance okay when we go to the supermarket where the shopping is a pleasure for anybody okay if you go to any kind of like uh, you go to shopper stop if you go to pantaloons they are very much avert enough to display the quality stuff okay when we go to the airlines if you see people once upon a time prefer used to go for the kingfisher airlines why even i am I was also a big fan of kingfisher airlines because they maintain the quality of the delivery and the customer care okay they are very much a uh, commitment towards the customer delivery okay even if you see the television print media this all are talking about the visibility of the product why we go with the advertisement part because it showcases the delivery of the quality okay so this is very much focusing on the transcendental views then when we goes to the product view okay the quality is viewed as a quantifiable or the measurable characteristics or the attributes okay when we see any product that can be measured with its durability or reliability that can be measured with the engineering design and creates a benchmark okay because why we see on apple or redmi every product segmentation has its own set of quality that assuring the customers that they are delivering okay and in the market whether it is a global market whether it's a national market they are creating a benchmark okay the most important thing that we have to understand that the market whether it's a national or a global it's very volatile in nature okay if i am not continuously uh, determined to the objective of the quality improvement then the product demand and the existence in the market will will null in void okay so we have to focus on that although this product based approach has talks about with this it has its own limitations why because it is goes with the benchmark of individual preference taste and understanding okay i might have a very good understanding for example uh, the tea okay i might be, uh, somebody might be very good fan of milk tea somebody might be very good fan of darjeeling tea somebody might be very good of uh, green tea so everybody has its own different set of preferences taste and choice okay but in that particular preference for an example if i like green tea i have certain benchmark if i like darjeeling tea i have certain benchmark that i am going to take only the margaret hops tea and if you see there is a position to maintain the quality check in the tea industry also there is a quality check manager okay so that the customer should not mislead and they should be provided with a proper information <coughs> next we are going to the user based okay what is user based first is talking about about the customer preference or a consumer preference before i am going into the consumer preference first we have to understand what is the difference between the customer or a consumer 
because the customer can purchase the product but they may not consume okay customer may not be the end user but the consumer is an end user because who is actually using the product okay this is the basic difference between a customer and a consumer so when we talk about the quality is an individual matter and a product that is satisfying is based on the preference okay so if an individual as a consumer i have a preference to particular product or a particular uh, taste and particular thing that i will be preference and i will prefer to purchase particular that thing only i will not go into the market to uh, do the window shopping or hopping hunting that i will be looking around here and there so it's a very rational approach okay it's very volatile user ke depend it depends on the user okay and it is very difficult to measure that my particular customer or that particular customer when we do a competitors analysis or a customers analysis the product attributes varies okay that needs to be very clear because when i will be tomorrow as an engineer i will be sitting as a product quality manager i will be studying the market okay tomorrow i will be studying the market with a very niche strategy okay agar main ye bana raha hu for whom i am making for for whose preference for whose taste that i have to look around okay then i have to segregate the market market aggregation approach i have to focus with a large number of consumers and we have to push down then we talk about the manufacturing based because it is now coming to your sections because manufacturing quality is a very primary effort and engineering and manufacturing practices is become an universal definition of conference okay of to the requirement because why industry in today's if you go to tata uh, all the manufacturing industries they are required a very quality aware engineers okay what actually market is required what customer preference having a basic awareness and on the basis of how much he has its own basic strategy that the quality can be improved in a modified way through their excellence quality knowledge okay and with the set standard of the organization then we talk about the value based okay see there are two sets of values okay first is organizational value second is market value okay what is organizational value what if you see any website of a uh, of a company they have mission vision and value standards and if you see the annual report that is analyzing the customer feedback and creating a consumer report magazines that talks about the two criteria of a quality and value okay how much customers are satisfied okay this high quality is not usually the best way so called the method to analyze the thing but this is one of the way that through the quality we are delivering the values that the company is adopting to deliver their products and services in the market now if you see the it is a systematic approach a diagram that of total quality management okay if you see in the left hand side the drivers who are the drivers the senior executive leadership tomorrow you will be the part of this senior executive leadership you have to understand this overall system that first you have to talk about the management of process of quality okay what kind of process of quality that we are uh, developing or adapting to the delivering for the consumers or the customers or the end users of the organization okay then we will be developing the human resource and the managing the skills the training through purposes focusing to the satisfaction of the customer okay then we will be talking about the strategic quality planning okay what are the various methods or techniques that can be developed to the part of the planning of developing strategic quality okay it might be an operational result or it might be a quality based result and after that the information need to be flowed and quarterly or half yearly or annually it need to be analyzed whether the strategy what we have done that is affecting the market positively or not okay if it is affecting the market positively then the strategies are well and fine and if it is not we have to find out the gap okay for what basis this quality is not creating the impact into the market and it is not analyzing it through analyzing we have to reduce the gap between that okay this is a three major dimensions or the triangular of wisdom of total quality okay first is your knowledge management 
okay then your learning management then is your development management okay first you have to as an engineers you should be very conscious about your knowledge your basics okay because today you are learning mechanical engineering you are very much technical enough parallelly you need to also have the understanding of the other aspects as well blindly if i am only un- learning the mechanical techniques but we don't know how to use it into the how this knowledge can be sold or can be sell in the future aspect in the market or to the industry that need to be you should be very aware of next when we goes to the learning management once i adapt the knowledge of the market once i adopt the knowledge of the technicality the part of the quality development we have to continuous improve our learning management okay and with the development management we need to evaluate ourselves whether this knowledge management or learning management is helping us to develop the very core ideas that i can deliver for the market and the organization in the future if you see the characteristics of total quality management leaders because tomorrow you will be focusing on the quality part because you will be the mechanical engineers of an organization you will be developing lot of products services for the consumers so you should have having certain characteristics okay that you need to develop within yourself first is a visible committed and knowledgeable these three are the basic self parameters that you need to develop okay your knowledge your commitment or committed towards the uh, delivery of your services and the visibility of your work should be very enough okay then a missionary zeal you should be very proactive to the development you should be having a vision to understand what the future market is going to be developed then the aggressive target okay i'm not talking about unexpected target i'm talking about an aggressive target okay agar ye hai agar ye demand aa raha hai in the future market that i have to aggressively grab it that attitude should be developed then you should be a strong driver what kind of a driver because you need to drive the force and the motion into the market so that that quality aaj ke date me if you see there are agar koi bhi product if it is getting launched into the market their competitors or the competitive products are also launching in the market okay so you should be very a strong driver you have to create certain usp unique selling point with the quality development that the customer or the consumer is going to prefer your product okay with your strong driver and the strong perception towards the market next you are talking about the communication of values okay aaj ke date mein if you are talking about any product values how we can that blindly a consumer or customer can trust that product okay even if you see in a uh, this uh, speaker okay bose has its own values okay but it is not affordable by everyone but we have seen the zebronic jbl both many other speakers are in the market but today's market it's talking about people if going to prefer they go for both or jbl why they in the mid segment they have created their own values and delivering of the quality of the product okay even i am a very good uh, fan of both quality of sounds that is delivery then the organizational commitment okay because you are a part of an organization where you are committed enough to delivery with your 100% so that the things comes out in a proper way and last not the least is a customer's contact i am delivering certain product and if i not getting a proper feedback out of that then the end uh, end of the day you have no proper strategy that you are going to develop a proper outcome for the future aspects or oh, vision strategy is going to be very difficult for you to develop it now if we go to the uh, means total quality operational uh, hrm human resource are basically talking about five principles okay first it's talk about quality work okay if i if you are not giving your employees if you are not giving your proper infrastructure of a working condition then they will be not satisfied first you have to happy your home as well as you have to happy your associate stakeholders then only they are going to deliver you proper effects in a holistic approach then focus to your customer okay what customer is actually looking for <coughs> sorry next it's going uh, talking about strategic holistic approach of the improvement okay always we had that attitude that we need to develop we need to improve we need to what are the things can be more given to the market so the people can come out with the proper aspects then we talk about the conceptual intellectual 
way of life. Okay. If your product, they don't feel that it is connecting the life of an individual that the end user is using, it is very difficult. Okay. You through the, if you see Geo, okay. Geo has came in a such a way, it has part to a way of your life. If they are increasing their recharge also, we are not coming out of the usage. Even the Vodafone, Airtel, everything is that. They have conceptual innovation. Okay. They have made such an innovation about the internet using so that people has become a way of life to the end users. Then it's a mutual respect and a teamwork. Okay. It's very much important. You should have a proper mutual respect to each other among your employees and you should have a very good team effort to work around. See, this is a very much important a customer satisfaction model. Okay. There are four pillars. When we talk about customer expectations, then we talk about human resource, then we talk about company operations. End of the day, if you see the green part of the circles is the customer satisfaction. That is the last part. Okay. First, we have to understand the customer expectations, what actually the market demand is. Okay. What is the expectation of the customers? On the basis of that, we are going to hire proper human resource, we'll skill them, we'll train them, we'll make them aware what actually my uh, organizational market is looking for. Then we are going for the company uh, company operations that you are best enough technically to proceed to best come out with a particular quality product. Okay. And with this part, with these major pillars, when it combines, it comes out with a proper customer satisfaction. That is most important. Then, then we talk about indicators of customers' satisfaction. How we will analyze that customers are satisfied or not satisfied? Okay. First is on frontline empowerment. Okay. What what is frontline empowerment? Is the particular uh, the contact point where the customers can come and discuss with their problems or the expectations and all. Okay. Like customer care center or kind of an, uh, uh, through over phone customer care helpline. With that some empowerment should be there in the front line. Next, we talk about the excellence of hiring, training, attitude, and moral for the front line of the employees. Okay. Then we talk about the proactive customer service system. Okay. That should is very important. If I take my experience in during the year of 20, 2010 to 11 or 12, okay, Dell use don't has to, Dell have no particular physical customer service center. Okay. Through third party, he used to do it. And where we are giving our laptop, where it is going, how it is coming to us, we have no. So there is an anxiety towards the customer. And people are very much afraid because that time laptops are very costly. Uh, today's configuration, which is what we are getting around 50K, that time you are going to get around 1 lakh rupees. Okay, I'm talking about 2010, 11, 12. Okay, so this customer service management is, should be very important. Okay. Then proactive management with the relationship with the customers. Okay. There should be a relationship manager who is talking about because see customer for a manufacturing industry may not be the direct customer in the market. It can be B2B means business to business tie up. Okay. For an example, a tire MRF is not selling the tires directly to the end user. They're directly sending to whom car manufacturers. And with that, they're assembling the tires to the uh, cars and giving to the end user who is purchasing the car. So it can be a B2B or B2C. Okay. means business to business or business to customer or consumer. So this is the way the proper relationship needs to be maintained. Next, it, you have to also understand use of all listening post. Listening post is very much important. We need to have the proper quality check or we need to have a quality requirements of the market segmentation. Okay, we need to have four major market segmentation. It might be demographical or geographical or psychographical or parametrics way. Okay, with this, we should segregate the market. We have to analyze the market and we have to understand the perception of the consumers or the behavior of the consumers or the customers that how they are reacting. Okay, with that, we can, it will be helpful for the person who is manufacturing to ensure the quality that product is delivering to the market. Next, we are talking about the commitment to the customers. Okay. Customer commitment today's date with the quality assurance is very much important. If that is not there, your product will be not sustained in the market for the long term. And understanding the customer requirement will help you to develop the strategies 
to maintain the commitment to the customers. Okay. Next, we talk about the service standards meeting to the customer requirements. When we are giving certain standards to the customer and when we are giving certain service focus to the customer requirement, they will be automatically satisfied. Okay. That yes, I have this issue. I have bought this product. I have uh, faced this kind of technical issues. I have uh, approached to the particular manufacturer or the seller and they have given me a proper uh, service out of that might be replaced or they have uh, rectified the problem. And with that, that will enhance the indicators of the customer's satisfaction. Then we go to the quality, uh, cost of the quality. They have major three views of the quality cost. First, the higher quality means higher cost, obviously. Because when we talk about, uh, if you go to BMW, Audi, Limousine, they have a higher quality. And with maintaining the higher quality, they have a higher cost. Okay? One second. They have a higher cost. In that procedure, quality attributes such as performance or the features that cost you in the more terms of labor, material design, or other costly resources. And additional, with the better benefit of the quality, it does not compensate with the additional expenses. Okay? Sometimes you may, may not, uh, you are the premium products in the market. Okay? And you're delivering in a proper way. And you are getting... So, at that time, the higher cost and the higher qualities may not vary because your market is very niche. Okay. Then the cost of improving quality is less than the resulting of savings. There is another factor because if I have mediocre kind of a segment, then if I'm saving certain kind of results of saving, then the quality expenditure will reduce because this Japanese continuous improvement process because my platform is base. Okay. I'm just working on the rework on the scraps or what are the things with the defect we have that we are just improving. Where the quality cost will reduce and we are focusing on the development as well. Then we focus on the quality cost are those incurring the excess of those that would have been incurred in the product to build service performed exactly in the first time. Okay. Because if I'm purchasing certain thing, a customer has purchased certain thing as it can be lost or damaged and or might be the market share has been gone out okay in that part that quality cost will incur a lot of issues okay if your market is crashed the uh, the loyalty or the belief aspects okay or uh, towards your brand get reduced by the customers then to come back again into the market with the proper quality it will incur you more cost because you have to get that assurance or the belief uh, you have to grab that with the, from the consumers, it will be difficult enough. So this is a, one of the major rules that switches to the times of nine with the cost of non-quality or the quality assurance with the one is to 10 is to 100, focuses on the rule of the Japanese rule. Okay. The types of quality is focused on uh, when we talk about the four major aspects. Okay. The quality is generally classified into cost of quality classified into four major categories. First is cost on prevention, how to prevent the market declination or to prevent the assurance of the, uh, the quality improvement. We focus on that. Then cost of appraisal. It's not talking about the human resource performance appraisal. It talks about the quality appraisal, how much we are developing how much improvement we are coming in every quarter or annually to the particular product that is also incurred certain cost. Then we talk about the cost of internal failure or an external failure. These are the two major aspects as well. What are the internal failures? I talked about the working conditions, employee satisfaction, uh, the technology that has been adopted in the organization are adequate enough or not. If that is not coming well, then the internal failure is coming. That will give you a huge burden towards the cost to the development of the quality. Similarly, cost of external failures, okay? External failures means it will be difficult for you to approach to the market in a proper way so that you are not getting connected with your customers or the market. So at that time, to get with that, you need to incur a lot of advertisement. You need to have a lot of awareness program, training, everything. So at that time, if it is not going through an effective media, then it will create you a lot of cost. Okay.
<coughs> when we talk about the cost of preventions, okay, in talk about the cost of preventions, talking about with the include those activities which removes the prevent defect from the occurring or the production process, okay. Then we talk about uh, the inclusive of the several activities like quality planning, product reviews, training, or the engineering analysis, which are incurring to ensure the product quality, okay, or not the product appraisal, okay. This is one of the more major aspects. Those costs that incurred with the definity of the poor quality product after the occurrence in the performing of the total quality uh, performance is are focused on in the quality in the as inspection activities okay similarly if you focus on the internal failure okay these are the discussed what we have cost about those incurred during the production process or include such items are machined downtime that poor quality material scrap or rework okay then we talk about external failure those incurred okay like we talked about product shipped or any kind of a customer dissatisfaction or the allowance or the warranty cost or the hidden cost which lost the market share i told you because if i'm not connected enough with the market then it will be very difficult now we come to the part what is the uh, benefits of tqm okay total quality management first is a greater customer loyalty okay if I have a very good benefits toward the customer loyalty, the quality enhancement is the effectiveness we can measure. Then the market share improvement. My particular product market kitna hold kar hai. How much it is holding the market? Because that will create the improvement that how much we are pushing our products or the quality into the market. Then we talk about higher stock price. Okay. If you see the share market, how much uh, people are investing in our stocks, how much volatility of the stock uh, uh, uplift or the declining procedure that will also talks about the demand analysis then we talk about reduced service call or the higher prices okay why the higher prices because if i am investing my uh, time towards the higher quality improvement prices will be automatically higher which i already discussed in the previous slide and the greater productivity because if uh, the demand is high in the market the productivity will be more higher in that procedure. So with this overall basic concept, I would like to conclude with the remembering of the art to resolve around the customers because whatever doing, whether it's an engineering or whether it's a, a management, end of the day, we have to focus on the customer. Okay, How much best quality we can deliver to our customer, the best output we can get for our organization as well as the development of the organization and the development of the self. With this, I'd like to conclude. Thank you very much. And I and thank you everyone to have a, a, a patience listening. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Um, Hello. Am I audible, sir? Yes, yes. Hello. Am I audible, sir? Yes. Uh, so yes. thank you very much for your presentation. I would like to thank Dr. Sudhir to present this presentation on behalf of the entire mechanical department as well as Bhavi University. I would like to thank you for to us and let us know many things about the museum. I believe that all of the students will be from you. And if students have any queries, they can uh, contact me and uh, or the, they can submit the queries to Dr. S Dr. Sumit so that then I can have a clear discussion about the topics if they want to have any kind of a clarification. Yes, sure, sir. Sure, sir. Uh, if I get any question, uh, I'll be uh, transferring it to you and uh, I'll be happy to get answers from this. Sure. It will be a pleasure. Thank you, Dr. Sumit. Once again, thank you. Sir, thank you, sir, for giving your time for this presentation. It was indeed a very nice presentation. Uh, students have really benefited from that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Sumit, and thank you very much to the team of uh, Parul University. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I'm, I, I'm ending the meeting. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, thank sir. You.